What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for yet another video and today we have a spy vlog for y'all today. So we went to DSM on January the 5th, 2021, first visit to DSM of the year and a first plane spawn outing and we went to see some interesting things but it ended up being a lot more interesting than we anticipated. So let's follow along with the videos and see what we saw. So first off we went to the cell phone parking lot to see some flights come in special we were particularly looking for this charter boeing 737 800 that's coming in here and this was a basketball charter we are not exactly sure what team it was for but we're pretty confident that it was a basketball team so let's watch it land And then after that landing, we went on over to the spot behind the LA Aviation Hangar and we watched some aircraft. We had a, a fellow spotter, Nick, with us today and there was another guy who, who came spawn for us at some of the locations as well. This is a miracle. This place is actually taking off. You start seeing all the runway. seeing the CRJ900 and getting some cool shots of the 737-800, a former extra airway 737-800 on the ramp. Here are some videos of it that we got. We went up to the garage. It's at the gate here and we're also going to get it depart as well. This aircraft is about to taxi out before his departure out to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and he came from Bullhead City, Arizona, all y'all. Quality right out the 
Chicago here on the CRJ200, guys. Next up, we have an extremely uncomfortable ride taking passengers to Chicago O'Hare. Next up, we see this American E-170 departing who I believe is heading to Dallas. We're starting to see a lot of these older Winlet E-170s here at... Pause the mic, you're up. Next up, the Aero Airways 738 departs for a flight out to Sioux Falls. Next up, we were graced by a very special visitor. We at first thought this was a KC-135, but turns out this plane right here is a United States Navy E-6B. world's deadliest unarmed aircraft. This aircraft is famously used for the mission of carrying and sending messages to be used for nuclear weapons strikes around the world. And this aircraft could literally send and order essentially the launch of dozens of nuclear weapons that could essentially end the entire world. It's better to go over there. I think. Oh, well, let me see how far my lens is Here the E6B does a really steep bank approach into DSM. These aircraft will commonly do these banking turns while they're trying to send their very low frequency messages. And here you can see he does one of these banking turns coming in to land. And this was super awesome catch to see his aircraft fly in. I was really happy to see it. And he was doing a low approach, and then the next couple approaches that we'll see that he does are touch and goes. But this was the second. You can see he's now deploying straight out, and then he, after leaving the airport grounds, he will do another steep bank and approach to the airport.
Delta CRJ 900 departing Minneapolis. First time seeing anything like this. He's coming to land. Very low. Yep, that, he's gonna do touch and go. He's... That, point, that, that paint scheme is just amazing. Oh no, is he, he's full stopping. Touch and go, I think. We'll see. Last no, he's full stop. He's full nice. stop. Yeah, he's Let, Let's go get it out the other side. Quick, 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 quick. We have to go get it. Oh, oh no, take off. touch and go. Take Up, we have Nevada One coming in from Denver, or as my brother likes to call it, the Discount Den. Here we have a CRJ 550 coming in for Chicago Hale. This is November 520 Golf Julia, and he used the entire runway on his landing. After getting some awesome videos and shots of the E6 and a bunch of other aircraft at the parking garage, we then moved over back to the cell phone parking lot where we started this adventure to get two more low passes of the E6. There he is, the E6! I'm just getting E6 doing some passes around. I'm just getting some far footage because video camera can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. We had a fun time spotting and I wanted to thank Nick for coming along and we had a great time bringing him to the airport. And I want, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And to end this video, I'm going to show you some of the best pictures I got. Uh, here was the 737 charter aircraft coming in to land and here it is on the ramp. And then here is the E6Bs, the best pictures I got of the E6B. And that was super cool. I am doing a separate video on Airways Magazine. It should be coming out the same day this video does. So if you want to see the video on the E6B, go watch it. It's going to be up. It's going to be super awesome. 
And that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you. I'm just getting E6 doing some passes around. I'm just getting some far footage because the video camera can. Yeah, it sounds good. And it's okay I'm talking. You, you can edit out. <laughs> yeah, I can just... Oi, bloopers. Is this will be fun. This will be... A, hey, guys, this is a fun blooper wheel. This is just an E6 making a, a, what should be sixth approach at the FM. So, yeah, you very excited about it? One yeah, more yeah. time, right? Yeah. Let's see it. Did your feet fail you? My feet did fail me. Boy, yeah. feet will fail. Boy.